Hi everyone and welcome to my place and I'm really sad to say our design, our series of doing large arrangements for churches and big venues has reached the end. I could probably have gone on for the next 10 years with this design swapping it out but you know what? I want to move on to something else so we're going to finish this off and I thought that it would be great for Christmas and a design that could actually go through into the new year. I think that Mary Antoinette would be very proud of me because did you know that Mary Antoinette was one of the original florists and a florist was a trainee botanist or horticulturalist. I hope that she's looking down and loving this. Okay, so here's the design. It's already, I haven't really done very much. All I've done is taken the autumn or the fall flowers out of it. I've kept the berries in here. I've kept the rose hips in here, which is going to give us a lovely structure. And now we are going to take it to, hello, Christmas. The first thing I want to put in are some orchids. Now, you wouldn't really use orchids at Christmas, but what I loved is the gorgeous green and we're going to be using red and the thing about red is just tip for me it's like blue it will reseed and in if it's not well lit you're going to have this big heavy blobby something so to diffuse that big heaviness it's really nice to use green because green especially this apple green or this new spring green it'll just lift it up so with these I'm just going to bring one and I'll put that in over there so that will be its little wing there and then I've got two of those so one over there and then we'll bring one in to the other side now the other thing that I need you to remember is make sure that when you're doing it that you look at it front on so there's my front and there are my wings or my triangle going out that way. So there's your central line there. So whatever you're going to do on that side, you need to do on this side. Actually, it's starting to look really good now. I'm wondering whether I should just do one more and call it my tropical look. No, stop it. Okay, the next thing to go in are these big, gorgeous, burgundy red love them. Now I've got three of these so I'm going to bring one over and into there. So now what's happening is the eye is hitting this green it's going straight up and into the red but because that and that big red's there but you know what it's being diffused with the beautiful red of the berries and there's little wee bits of red in the lips of the orchids. So one into there they are very big and they're very bold and they're very visually no-nonsense flowers. So one over to there, bring the other one down to there and I'll put it in a little bit, a little bit sort of lower than there. So one there, one there and then the next one. We might not even need this but I really want to use it. Okay, so this can go up and into there. So we've got another little triangle happening here. It's not perfect flat it's actually more see that and because it's rounded that is rounding across to there that is rounding up into that plane there and that one is rounding down there so visually we're cheating the system and we're working <gasps> I love these. When we were designing the collection here at Prestige Botanicals, I just want you to know that I had to have a red magnolia because if I could be God for just one day, I would like to say to the botanical goddesses, please could we have a red one? So I've got one, I just love it. Okay, so we've got three of those. So I'm going to bring that up and into there like so and you'll notice it's a different red and by placing it that way what's now happening is you've got there's little darky bits of red into there when you look really closely and with this plane here and with the leaves it actually sort of like is breaking that deep heavy red up because don't forget that at a church or a wedding people are like way back here and they can't see but you've got to trick their eye into seeing things now with this one I'm just going to bring that and I'm going to bring that over and into there. Uh, 
and bring that, oh, just, oh, I'm going to the gym here. I'm just making that a little bit flatter so that it's sort of, it's like, it's there, but it's not there. It's around and over to there. And when you look at it, because don't forget that in a church or a large convention area or a venue, people aren't just looking at it. There'll be some over there looking, there'll be some over there looking, there'll be some over there. And there could also be, if it's an auditorium, people up the top looking down into it. So it's always nice to give them something to look at and just have these little thoughts in your head as you're going. Right, the next thing I want to put into here are some beautiful lilies. Oh the goddess of all the flowers. So I've got two of those. I'm just going to bring one into there, like so. Oops. Hold on one moment. You put it in. That can go over to there. So I've only got two of those. So one over there, and then that can go over to there. Now stand back and have a look and just make sure, yes, I'm balanced thereabouts. The next thing to go in, uh, I've got these other lilies and what's beautiful about these is they're a lovely creamy yellow, buttery yellow and they've got little wee red or burgundy bits reflected through onto the petals. Perfect to diffusing this. So we'll have one can go into there like so. And if they're a little bit too short, what I've done here is I've just got a little bit of, uh, bamboo, a bit of bamboo and I've just stuck the stem into it to get a, get a bit of height. That can go in and over. <gasps> it's looking fabulous. And this one here, I don't think I need that. I want to put that. So I've got one there, one there, and I just think I would like that there. Oh, perfect. So now what happens is you've got these big, burgundy red hydrangeas and then you've got the colours look it's all reflected through into the colours there and then that just drifts through I could have been a little bit neat but you know what it's okay nothing in nature's perfect so don't knock yourself around okay I've got three beautiful creamy peonies and the lovely thing about these two is that they've got the pinky little pinky kisses on the edges of the buds and the petals and this red here, this is your primary red, and then by adding a little bit of black, you get this burgundy, and then by adding a little bit of white, you get the pink. Oh, I love how colours work. Right, what we do with this, I'm going to bring one into there like so. We probably don't need these, but I just want to use them because I'm excessive today, and it is Christmas after all, and we've not had a good year, have we? It's really been the best of years. So one there, one there, and then we'll bring that up and into there. And by now you're probably thinking, she just does everything in triangles and in threes. Well, you know what? When the Egyptians were building those pyramids, they worked in threes, and it's a very strong structure because all these years later it's still here. Okay, we're nearly finished. It is Christmas after all, and I've got some little holly berries. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of holly into there, and I'm actually putting it on top of that big hydrangea because I want to just break it up a little bit further. So I've got one over there. I'm going to bring one up into there, and I'm going to bring the other one down and into there. Look at that. That is so looking like Christmas. I love it. Now the next thing I want to do is, because it's still a little bit too heavy, I'm just going to bring a little bit of Dusty Miller in. So we'll bring a bit in over to there. And when you see the, the eucalyptus and that at the back of it, it just gives it a lovely, I'm going to say foggy sort of diffusion, which is quite beautiful. So one over to there. Let's bring one up and into there. Oh yes, that is perfect. And I've got two shorter bits. A bit into there and a little bit into there. Oh. Looks like it's got a little fur coat on. It's quite gorgeous. So there you have it. Hold on, I just want to have a look myself just a minute. Oh yes, I love it. There we have number four 
of our four part series. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've had a, I've given you lots of tips and little tricks. If there's anything that I can give you some design assistance with, direct message me to Instagram at Astor's Place or drop me a line at Astor's Place. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And the next is going to be how to do big round designs because I quite like a good round design. I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Bye for now.